Warning, this video contains geocaching spoilers. I like to geocache. The only thing I like better than that is finding a big old box with some toys. I don't want those small little boxes, yeah. Don't give me those small boxes, I want some toy trophies. Was that good? Hey guys, so I couldn't find the my hundredth geocache find on the kayaking trip so I figured that this would be a good alternative um, it's called hunted road to nowhere and why it's a good alternative for my hundredth geocache find is because it's special to me um, I'm really into paranormal stuff um, basically Details for it are, bring your own pin, true story, there have been numerous nighttime ghost sightings down this lonely back road for several several years now of an older white haired gentleman. This road is also a spooky place during the daytime as well, but nighttime is the best time to search for this cache. Bonus, if you are lucky to spot, spot the huge family of raccoons in who live in the area they do not have diseases but do not play with them either um, so it's a nighttime cache or it's better at night so I'm gonna go at night this ought to be interesting hint look for the tree with the distinct hole in the trunk okay I'm gonna navigate to it And as you can see, on a wide scale, I am in South Florida. Hold on. And as you can see, on a wide scale, I'm in South Florida. Now I'm going to zoom in. Basically, this is going to be um, behind a shopping plaza that I go to. There's actually a there's actually a Chuck E. Cheese, I believe, right here. But what I'm going to do is drive through the parking lot and come to the back, and then park somewhere around here, and then walk to the cache through here and search for it. Um, wish me luck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways, so um, this thing's pretty bright. Um, so basically, I'm here at this cache and I'm gonna explain to you why um, I chose this cache for my 100th geocache and it's because I'm uh, super into ghosts and stuff like that. I don't believe that this place is haunted. I, I think the person who made the geocache uh, made it up. Um, I don't know why people lie. I don't know. Doesn't make it any more uh, interesting. Um, well, I guess it does, but not when you know it's a lie. So. Um, I'm going to go in and uh, try to find this in a second. Just got to mount my camera and all that stuff. But uh, anyways, so um, I'm like hardcore into like paranormal investigating. And um, there's a car behind me. Anyways, and uh, I even got a tattoo of a, of a, hold on a ghost on my chest right there there you go um, that's how much into um, ghosts and stuff I am so I figured this was a little special to me so I'm gonna do this all by myself in the dark I don't know how much you guys can see so I'm gonna turn on the flashlight 
but um, the hint is look for a distinct colon tree um, and the ground zero leads me to this corner up here um, so I'm just gonna go to this corner and look for a hole in a tree I really don't think it's gonna be too difficult I actually see a hole in the tree right here um, I don't know if I want to dig through this but I do so I'm going to I'm not seeing anything in there and that's about the, the most distinct hole in a tree that I'll find I think um, I really think it should be in here. But it's not. So. Um. What the fuck was that? Oh, it's a cat. Here, kitty. Oh, I wish I had some food to give it. Uh, the cat's not gonna come. Anyways, I'm try to find another hole in a different tree. It smells like pee. I'm gonna tell you that thing freaking scared me. The cat. Cash. Um, it's sad to do this one at night. I mean, so I wouldn't think it would be that difficult, but I see like a, a lid. Is this it? I don't think so. I don't know. I tell you, I'm I'm more nervous when people just start driving through here because I trust people less than I trust ghosts. And you know what? I think this cache is missing and I'm not gonna find my 100th geocache yet again. Oh my god. This is a freaking curse I have. What do I have to do? Just. God. And on top of it, it's actually starting to sprinkle. Sprinkling pretty hard on the way here. I'm gonna see what uh, the GPS says. Details. Nighttime is the best time to search for this cache. Look for the tree with the distinct hole in the trunk. I mean, it has to be this one. It just has to. But it doesn't say it's in the hole, does it? I guess not. So maybe it's not in the hole. Maybe it's, it has something to do with the tree. I 
mean, there's not much else. Not many other places where it could hide. You know what the geocaching community should create is some sort of stick that we use, that we can buy or whatever to poke around in holes because I often find myself getting sticks that fall apart on me trying to poke in holes where I'm afraid I might get bit by a spider or something. I don't understand it. It has to be in here though, but it's not. Maybe it's on the floor. Maybe it fell on the floor. Who knows? I don't even know what it looks like. Well, I'm going to turn off the camera and get back to it. Well, guys, I just found the rats. There they are. Some. They're in there. Found the rats. Found their home. Just don't know where geocache is. You know, these rats are living underneath this tree. There's all these little holes networking all around. I heard, I heard them too. I was like, man, what's that sound? It sounded like squeaking. It's creepy. Smells like, and that's the tree that smells like urine and stuff. It's fucking disgusting. It smells like something. Yeah, I'm... I'm gonna call it another fail for me. This sucks. I don't know what to do. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Fucking cats keep scaring me. Damn. Hope the, the camera caught that and that thing jumped out like five feet in front of me. Come here, kitty. That cat fucking, ah. I just tripped. The cat just scared me to fucking death for the second time. I'm not sure if it's friendly or not. It's if it is, it's probably scared of my flashlights and stuff. Anyways. That was a big fail. Hey guys, so I just got back from the haunted road to nowhere. And again, I didn't find my 100th geocache. Uh, haunted road to no more, nowhere, more like curse of the haunted road to nowhere. Or actually, more like Curse of the 100th Geocache, because I am not having any luck. Anyways, so, instead of saying did not find, I actually um, did a needs maintenance. I said, it, I went looking for it and it seems to be gone. Maybe muggled, question mark. Well, uh... I guess I'll see you guys next time. Next time, hopefully, I'll get my hundredth one. Crossing my fingers.